What's going on folks? I want to make this video real quick to let you know. Say for example you turn your furnace on, especially now that it's getting cold outside, and your furnace stays on, like say the heat's coming out for about 8 to 10 minutes, sometimes maybe 8 to 15 minutes, and then it goes off. And say it goes off, and then you reset it, you turn it back on, does the same thing again. It seems like the heat will blow for maybe 8 the 10 to 15 minutes and it cuts off it does the same thing every time exact same amount of time pretty much it does it most likely if it's doing this the problem that you have is a bad limit switch this is what this is right here is a limit switch that's inside of your furnace normally if you look in the back of your furnace back where the flames and stuff will be blowing out where your flame chambers are at you'll see a switch like this sitting there normally it'll have like two wires that's plugged on to it on each side like one over here as well as one over there and this is called your limit switch and if your furnace keeps doing what I said before which is going coming on it's blowing heat then it just cuts off all of a sudden and it does it around the exact same amount of time after it's been on most likely you need a limit switch and if you got to replace your limit switch what you want to do is get the exact same limit switch that you have like this one right here, the way you would read this and see if you need if you need a new limit switch would be, you see the bottom number down there where it says L150-20F. What that means is that the L stands for that this limit switch is normally closed. Think of it closed as like a, a drawbridge. When the bridge is up, no cars can go across the water. And when the bridge is down, cars can cross the water. That L basically stands for that this bridge is down, that the signal can go across this limit switch. And the 150 means that once the, the temperature inside of your furnace reaches 150, it's going to cut your furnace off and it's going to stay off until it drops by, you see the 20, by 20 degrees. So this limit switch right here says your furnace will work until it reaches 150. Then once it reaches 150, it's going to cut the flames off, which means your furnace is not going to be working until it cools back down to say 130. That's what that means. So if you have to replace your limit switch, what you want to look at is the number at the bottom. If you have an F that's on yours, what that means is that your limit switch is naturally open, meaning that the bridge, the drawbridge is up to where cars are not going to be able to cross the water to get to the other side. So that would be an F in front of that number. And the way that one works is if to the, the, say this was an F150 minus 20, what that would mean is that if the switch got to the temperature of 150, it would basically close. Now the switch would close itself down and in doing so would shut the power off well, basically, we'll shut off the signal so your furnace will go off. So either you have a, a limit switch that's normally closed, like this one is with the L on it, or you have a limit switch that's normally open. So whichever switch that you see in your furnace is the one you want to replace it with, and you want to make sure that you get a limit switch that's close to as possible to the one that you already have. So if I'm going to replace this switch, I'm going to get an L150 um minus 20 pretty much is what i'm going to get so if this was an l say 200 minus 30 that was I'm, that's what i'm going to look for is right there and most likely if you if what i said before your furnace works for 10 15 minutes something like that then it goes off and a good way to see if it's your limit switch is by timing it turn your furnace on make sure that your your, your actual burners are burning that there's flame there and then watch the time. If every time it gets around a certain time, the furnace just cuts off all of a sudden, and then you do it a couple of different times, it does the exact same thing. Most likely you have a bad limit switch, or there could be something else that's wrong. You could have a super dirty filter in your furnace, or your exhaust system could be clogged up to where the heat's not been able to escape from out of your house. But the simplest thing that you can replace a lot of time is this limit switch, and because they go bad there's a way you could test these also with a multimeter but like on this one right here it was tested with a multimeter and it basically tested good 
but we went ahead and replaced it anyways and once we replaced it the furnace had no more problems which means that sometimes the contacts inside of these switches over time can just not work right anymore which means instead of it waiting to hit 150 before it goes out it could go out at 120 you know 110 or something like that just because the limit switch is old and also say for example your furnace is going out but at random times like say the heat's blowing it blew for 30 minutes and all of a sudden it went off you turned it back on again the heat blew for five minutes it went off most likely if you're having that issue what you want to check then would be your flame sensor which is another part of your furnace that's pretty cheap and inexpensive for you to purchase that would be an issue with that but if you had to replace your limit switch because your furnace doing what I said this is how you would know which switch you need just look at the bottom if you see an F whatever those numbers are that's what you get if you see an L whatever those numbers are that's what you would get for your furnace alright folks once again this is how you would know how to replace your limit switch on your furnace just in case for some reason your furnace keeps on going out and you time how long it stays on before it goes out and it's about the same time each time most likely you, you need a new limit switch all right please check out our other helpful videos please like subscribe and share thanks